My name is Klaas. I work at Rami Yokota. I'm going to show you how the Red Rooster blind riveters work. This model is the RRI PR40948. And all our other blind riveters work in the same way. It's important that the right nose piece is used with respect to the diameter of the rivet. It should fit in easily, but if there is too much play, the jaws will not pull properly. This brings me to the adjustment of the jaws. You need to loosen the lock nut while holding the tool vertically and unscrew the body a bit. Insert the rivet. You see that it doesn't fall down. Tighten the body until the rivet falls down. Next, tighten it just a bit more and re-tighten the lock nut. On this tool, the red button activates the vacuum. I'm going to show you how it works. First, I need to connect the compressed air supply. When I turn the vacuum on, it sucks the rivet in, which means you can use it for vertical work. It's important that the rivet is clamped in one go, as I'm showing you here. If the rivet doesn't clamp in one go, it could mean that the rivet is too long for your application. Or it could mean that the jaws have not been adjusted properly, as I explained before. Or there isn't enough oil in the tool. You can add oil by removing the oil plug and using the syringe that's provided. Fill the syringe with hydraulic oil. Screw it in. Tighten it slightly with a spanner. In the meantime, the tool has to be disconnected from the compressed air. Push the oil into the tool, releasing the tension every now and then. This allows any air to go up into the syringe. Once the tool is filled with oil, unscrew the syringe. Now, reinstall the oil plug. That's all.